Good morning, folks. Welcome back to Whatever Wednesday. That this spot is currently filled with hydroneer, in part because of their new update with the uh, farming and stuff. This spot may be overtaken by Valheim eventually, just because that game's got a lot of content that I can get through and explore and share, and it's just a really fun game. But for now, we're gonna continue the the soup creating experience. <laughs> But before we continue that, I am still fundraising for the LGBTQ Freedom Fund, which pays bail to secure the safety and liberty of individuals in jail and in immigration detention. They also work to address the disproportionately high rate and harm of jailing on LGBTQ individuals, which is a tangle of discrimination and poverty. Yeah, they help they help us LGBTQ folks that when we are in prison to get out because the system very frequently unfairly puts higher stuff against us because pho pho phobic assholes <laughs> so raw father what has thine been given today <clears throat> raw father hello Bricusa. how are you doing today but yeah if y'all are interested in donating to that uh, i have a donation button below the stream i have a uh, donate command exclamation what donate uh, my chatbot shares that command, and I have a QR code when the stream comes up that will be able to help you do that as well. Any support is greatly appreciated. Welcome. How are you doing today? Let me pull this down. There we go. We were playing more Hygienier, and last stream we finally saved up enough uh, guild tokens to get the... Uh, <laughs> to get the little farm farming machine. Not really little, I guess, but Hello Osgo. Good morning. Hope you're doing well today. Yeah, we gotta wait for stuff to grow. And, well, we don't have to. We can see what jobs we have. Let's see. We've got cut carrots. Good mornings to you. Cut tomato, cut carrot. 14 carrots. They, they want lots of fucking carrots and tomatoes, I guess. Jesus Christ. Uh, we have just piles of this stuff. How heavy is this pile? 113. I guess let's start with the first order here, which is carrots, which means I picked up the wrong pile of dirty vegetables. Uh, oh, here's our carrot pile. How many do we have here? 62. I might have to, uh, um, actually, how many carrots is that? I got to tilt my head like a dog to read because I'm autistic. Uh, <laughs> uh, looks like there's at least 20 seeds there. And then we've got some uh, tomato seeds. Boop. Well, thank, thank you. <laughs> All right. Well, I make probably make s at least some of these recipes. There's five that would they would require for one of these things. So let's split off as small as we can go. The boop the boopening has occurred. <laughs> oh no! Have you been able to get enough sleep? I'm gonna assume, unfortunately, not if that's if you're tired. So, yeah, if you need to go get some rest, absolutely go do it. All right, five. That's probably good enough. Ah, three hours. And yeah, it's unfortunate. Like a lot, a lot lately, I've been like waking up in the middle of the night, having to use like the bathroom and stuff, cause never, never get old. And yeah, it's just like mm. <laughs> never. Never age in real time. It's it's not good for you. <laughs> you have to age, you have to age in, in another universe, I guess. Um, all right, this is enough um, carrots for one of the. Uh... Don't age. <laughs> Just don't do it. You'll fucking regret it. Uh, <laughs> damn it. Got to get up here to drop the carrots in. Okay. Um. 
Maybe I should move this whole situation over here. Yeah, well, we're gonna move this whole situation like over here instead. Ah, yep, been there, done that before. <laughs> We're gonna move this uh, soup situation over near this big rock, I guess. Let's unmerge the carrot from the, the wall. Perhaps I need to have it a little less next to the wall I don't want it to like get I don't want it to m get messed up when I'm trying to like do stuff with it all right move the sickle just over here I guess and we'll move the scale up here You don't get very much sleep. You're just like, oh, guess I gotta go to. Guess today's happening anyway. All right, we got one bowl of soup. That's five. I think it was this one for just carrots. Okay. Drop it in the river. Get some more water in there, and then let it heat up again. Okay, this next one they want. Six carrots. Okay, let's separate off that much. Where's my little chopper? There it is. I ran right by it. Okay. Let's see, let's see how much this is. 3.5. Five. Funnily enough, it's it was probably would have been better to use the stuff from the other soup in this one. Anyway, let me see. This is six point three. Okay, good enough. I, mean, I probably shouldn't do that, but you know, it's whatever. Okay, and then we need five cut tomato. I think these are tomatoes. Yeah, they are, so. How much is this slice? Number five, I might be able to split off this and get the five more precisely let's see how much up oh, I say more precisely and then jump clean over the damn thing okay uh, let's combine these back together yeah we still don't have a lot of infrastructure to support um, the customers are like we want carrots the carrots and more carrots no fucking kidding let's see 14 carrots for that order uh <clears throat> they haven't really wanted carrots in a while. Usually it's been like tomatoes and then like other the other vegetables. But we're growing beetroots now because they take the longest to grow. And I was like, oh, I better plant a bunch of them so I can just have a bunch of beetroots available. But yeah, now we're kind of in the case of like, I got to be careful how many carrots we got here. Because I don't want to uh, run out. I have some more carrot seeds, but still be annoying to run out. I'll have to plant some more. Be, you gotta beat the me, yeah, exactly. It's, you gotta have priorities. Drop that in there, and then we'll drop the tomato in there as well. We'll go to this one of these bowls. Yeah. Okay, 
Okay, this was the five tomato, six carrot, which is there. I'll just kind of keep the little order with it. It doesn't. Really, you don't have to take this order back to the person, but it just keeps helps me organize things a little better. Fourteen fucking carrots now. Let's go use up most of. Let's go use a good chunk of the rest of my carrots there. I think we'll plant some uh, some some <laughs> some tomatoes and carrots after these are grown. Potato tomato bisque. I don't think there are potatoes in this, but that would be interesting to try. Let's see. It's gonna split this down. Plant these. These and let's see how much that is. That is six. <clears throat> Split off. Let's see how much this is now. It's probably like nine. How much is this one? Oh, that one's already twelve. Only fourteen. So let's just join uh, that and see. That's 15. I could probably split that down a little further. Okay, we'll put the rest of these back over here. Yeah, I'm not, the, the goal is to mostly not get, give them too much vegetable because I have to actually, you know, get the vegetable. <laughs> but I might, I might have to just deal with giving them too much vegetable because it's kind of hard to split down certain amounts of vegetable so yeah they're just gonna they're gonna get a little extra carrot I'm sure they'll survive if they don't oh well <laughs> uh, nine tomato that's beetroot don't want to put beetroot in there that would uh, be a, a bad idea that would be a waste of time so now we need oh, come on game it's fine I'm literally just growing plants come on dang it's always what it saves there's like lag spikes <laughs> like that. Okay, yeah, I was nine. All right. Let's see. How much is this one? Six. I wonder if that'll get me to the nine that I require. Ten, son of a bitch. I might, they might just be getting ten tomato, cause like, it's hard to split off just like one. I mean, I'll try, but it's probably not gonna work very well. Yeah, it's, just, I just can't split off enough. So, they're just gonna have to, I mean, you could give them more than they order. Okay, I think this is uh, 14 carat. Let me make sure. Yeah, so. 14 carat, and let me make sure this is the 9 or 10 tomato. Yeah. Like, you can give them more than they ask for without any penalty. Which is good because it's just kind of hard to split off very minute amounts of vegetables. At least to my knowledge. Yeah, enjoy your, your floor soup. <laughs> and then this last one is eight cut tomato. Well, we still got the tomatoes here. Still got 98. It, it doesn't exactly divide it by two each time, which is awkward. Like, like let me, let, let's, do, let's do some experimentation. Like, this one is 98. Or maybe it does, and I'm just stupid. It's very possible that it does, and I'm just stupid. 49. Okay, that's oddly uh, even. Okay, 49. So this stack is still is 49. It might, and I'm just literally stupid. Let's see. So 49 and a half would be like 24 point. Okay, it does. But then I like split one stack into two, and then my brain gets lost in the sauce. So. <laughs> Uh, six point that Let's see, 
That is 9.19. How much did I need? Eight. You know what? The, pro the problem being, like, when you split it in half enough, like, there's only set a certain lower size that can go to, which makes it hard to separate off, like, more minute amounts of vegetables. Or fruit, I guess, in the case of tomatoes. Like, this one's like... Toe soup. Toe soup. I'm sure so I'm sure somebody wants that. <clears throat> okay, then we got 4.59 left. Let's see if we can maybe get up to uh, 6.89. <clears throat> oh wow, that's like one of the first, that's one of the first times in a while I've been able to just like sip right off like just a certain amount. I think this is like right over eight. Yeah, it is. And this one wants just eight. High impact tomato cutting gameplay. Yep. <clears throat> Just throw the cooking pot in the water. Huh? Huh? Okay. Well, with that, we can um, load up. This is our crab. He has all the jewels. <laughs> He's just a little crab. <laughs> yeah, we're still waiting for this shit to grow anyway, so I'm not really that bothered if we spend time making soups. Let's get our cart. We'll start loading up. Yeah, I just think the little crab's funny. It works. <laughs> if it works, if it works, then is it really that big of a deal? It's, it's <laughs> yeah, they're still growing. They probably got a little bit to go, so we'll we'll deliver these. So you can put the the cart in the back of your truck, and it'll stay. But before that, I need to kind of see where these... Fuck. Where's... Get, get our map here. <clears throat> okay, so, so... There's one person up at Bastion Keep that might have one of our orders. Actually, there's only four excavation points on the map, so those are the orders we have to deliver. Because they kind of, like, spawn in and out of existence every so often. So in that case, let's take our cart, and we'll go up to Bastion Keep and see who wanted what there. The soup cart. Meals on wheels, bitch. <laughs> hey there. Could do with some scrum. Oh, I'm sure you could, you freak. Um, <laughs> is this the one with just eight tomatoes up? Here's your scran. Mm -hmm. Thank you. He just like eats the soup and then throws the bowl on the ground. Hey there, don't mind me. I'm just mooching about. <laughs> yeah, they, they their their text gets a little repetitive after a while. <laughs> Elp blood. Admittedly, this is the first update where these NPCs have existed in the game, so there's probably a bit of a <laughs> well, the card's doing some some freaking Tony Hawk shit. Uh, let's see. All right, bridge pour. I should have known that by previously looking. Oh no, no! Don't hurt the crab and his his treasures. Should be told those crystals are not ver They're not actually worth anything, but they're shiny. So I, I let. I, I was like, you know what? Oh. Fucking light pole has like a bigger hitbox than you would you would think. <laughs> be Beep, beep, beep. It's a, <laughs> it's a more rural area. Run, just, just r run right into the fucking river. Yep. <laughs> all right, we'll get our cart out since all the people that want stuff. Fourteen and nine. Okay, which means you. Thank you. 
Oh, it didn't do ton. <laughs> it didn't do the mm, hmm. Weird that it didn't do that. Uh, let me see. Okay, some person's over on the shore, and another person's down the street. <clears throat> Somewhere. I guess the real question is where in the hell is the other person at? Gonna go get lost somewhere in the be the back alleys of this fucking town. Don't mind me, I'm just This is that a motherfucking Durgan? Uh, maybe, I don't know. Probably. Maybe not though. Hard to really say, they don't really explain anything about the game like that. They're just like, oh, hey, it's high denier. You do things. Have fun. Which, I mean, fair enough. Okay, where in the hell is this other person? No. Silence, you WNCH. Quietly screams, no. This <laughs> quietly screams, like... Yeah, they're just, like, staring into your depths of your soul. I could do it with some scrying. And they're like, oh god, please. Uh, where's this other person? We're like over here? Huh. I should probably have that little map in my, uh, <laughs> gold. <laughs> Is this like medieval diesel punk? Uh, I guess actually. It's kinda interesting. Yeah, it's like was it you or are you just a new guy? Oh you're that's a lot of tomatoes, dude. Alright. Fuck. I did say I was gonna grow more tomatoes after the beetroots are done. Historic mining ton. Uh maybe it is like well actually it's not diesel punk because everything runs on water. <laughs> My thoughts exactly. It's kind of how I feel trying to find this, not the fishing pole, to find this fucking other person with the job. Like, where are you, person? I know, I know where the, yeah, Hydropunk actually is probably clo closest to what you can say this is. Cause all the machinery, all like the heavy machinery and stuff, runs off water. Uh, surely they're not like wandering around in here. This is like a modded kind of store. Oh, it's you. You're up here. Also, almost like some kind of hydroneer. Hmm, likely story. Yeah, they just they just drink it. They just send it straight to their stomachs immediately. <laughs> One day, I will buy a shiny new no, you won't. <laughs> Here. The only reason I know where this person is is because I've had to like hunt down this fucking spot. Numerous times. Just a shiny old rusty truck. Alright, well, let's look at the thing now because. Okay, there doesn't. There's currently only one quest on someone we just took. So in that case, we're gonna head back to Ember Cradle.
Yeah, I mean, we had the water sounds going. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, if you run into people, they make like a kickball noise and they just go flying. <laughs> it's really funny, actually. <laughs> He's like, ugh, I'm not gonna even try moving now. It's like, good. It's such a hilariously inappropriate noise for running into someone. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's my reaction when I get ran over by a fucking truck. Oh, I can hit him again. He's like, no, please. I'm gonna hit him again. <laughs> Thunk. Rock safety. <laughs> Please, I have a wife and family. Not anymore, you don't. <laughs> See if I can get him up there. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait until the time is right. And go. Oh, no, he, oh hey, you got up there. Okay, good enough. <laughs> All right, now time for us to get up here. Just climb up the hillside. That is 100% the in <laughs> Oh, <laughs> dude just gets flung up the side of a mountain. He's like, I'm okay. Is this the beginning of a villain arc? Um, that's, it's always a villain arc. I will do that, I do that any chance I get to run into an NPC in this game. I always, if, if possible. That's just the, the, long, the first time in a while I've had the opportunity to actually like, okay, the, beat, the beetroots are ready. So now we can um, use this machine. I got, I got, I was able to afford this at the end of last stream, and it's, it's great. Make sure it's empty. It is all right. Kind of line it up a little bit, and then down we go. And it huts and it hut it. Harvests and cuts all the plants. Your mom. Your mom. Well, jokes on you. She's probably into that shit. <laughs> Down and we'll cut the other half. Yeah, I need to move these pipes and shit out of the way. I haven't like fully optimized like this situation at all. Strong. Having a strong maybe. Some of these not grow. Why did you not grow? Are you like too underground or something? I don't understand. Um, where's our rake? Yeah, sometimes some of these plants just don't really grow like and like sometimes the land just decides it wants to like recover itself. It's kind of awkward, honestly. I don't really know what keeps making it do it, but it certainly happens. Hmm. 
When did these get planted? Yeah, I'm just trying to be able to actually see the freaking farming spots. Now we need our sickle because I don't want whatever plants these are to be there, so we should be able to cut them and get the seeds back. Yeah. If I can target the fucking hitbox, that is. Yeah, another reason I want the, the sprinkler is because this dripping dropping shit is obnoxious like that sound is uh, gonna drive me insane I'm gonna hear this shit in my nightmares cut the plant please thank you well, I don't know why these decided not to grow but that's fine, we'll just uh, plant them another time when we're doing more beetroots. Alright. For now, we're just gonna do that because I'm tired of hearing this fucking dripping noise when I try to figure out which ones I still need to cut. <laughs> uh, it's sweet, I can finally hear myself think again. Cut the damn plant. Sleepily screams reary rarey eerie e weary oo. Sound like some sort of ghost. <laughs> A very sleepy ghost. are we'll be fine I just I just need to cut these so I can plant other stuff there and I'm not sure if like maybe I had some extra seeds in the back that I didn't know when running over these to harvest them come on there are probably still some uh, some bugs to iron out with this uh, update, but I've had a pretty good time with it at least. It's interesting to not have not do the mining stuff like you normally do in this game, because normally you'd be like digging up the dirt and like filtering out to get like iron and gold and gems and that kind of stuff, which is still great, great fun. But this is new and at least kind of different, at least. Okay, let's combine together our seeds. Okay, I think there's like another one I missed, maybe. Because where I already like reshoveled this stuff up like literally like a few minutes ago and it's already like fucking back to not being shoveled out I, I don't know how the solid earth does this but it sure is uh, I'm tempted to go there's like a rolling machine that you can use to kind of like roll the uh, dirt flat I'm tempted to go buy it and see if it will fix this problem because this is kind of annoying that it keeps doing this. Granted, I could also just save up a little bit of money and go to a different, like, dig site or plot of land, basically. Alright, well, that gets us some extra beetroot seeds that we didn't really anticipate. 
Some, sometimes it be like that. <laughs> Excuse me. Let's move this stuff out of the way, because it's kind of in the way now. Stank boot. Go over there, too. Uh, that depends on what you're doing and what you're stacking, because, like, I don't really have a good example, because I don't have any, like, little pieces of stuff other than his jewels, and I'm not, I'm not going to touch his jewels. Because if you have one of these pans, you can stack a lot of things in one of these pans, like, can you stack the boot in there? Yeah, the boot will fit in there, and you can just kind of... No one cover me while I'm casting, jeez! That is loud, I forgot how loud that was. <laughs> It's intentionally loud because one of my friends hunted through the freaking uh, ISO of one of the games I was playing and found that voice line for me. And to commemorate her, to commemorate her hard work, I made it as loud and obnoxious as possible. Right, so the character that says that is also loud and a little obnoxious, so I, I guess it's very fitting. <laughs> Looks like it's flat enough. Okay, we have one straight pipe we could probably use. You should go take. You should go rest. I appreciate you. I appreciate you coming by, but you should definitely rest if you need to. I, I'll be fine. Ah, ads. Fucking Bezos. Yeah, I'm gonna, I need to move this up, what, all this up, up by one. Which is like awkward. Kind of like a, a bad height. <laughs> maybe I can. Maybe I can j jump on top of this to move some of these. Maybe not for that one. Yeah, I need this all to be further a field. Because the, um, the harvester is tall enough to where this is t just high enough for me to fit under, but like the camera clips around, it's just really uncomfortable. So we're gonna move all this up by one, which is uh, gonna be annoying. Welcome back, yeah. Bezos is like, here, have some ads. And it's like, no, please. <laughs> like, I appreciate the little trickles of revenue stuff, I guess, but like, eh. I'll grab this, buy this block so I can use it to kind of climb around. Bonk. <laughs> All right. Now we gotta like move all these pipes, so I'm gonna make like get do this as intelligently as possible. Which means I'm gonna get one rotation for for whatever pipes need to move, and then we're gonna like move them all at the same time, all the ones that are gonna be the same rotation, because otherwise this is gonna be way worse than it needs to be. Although I'm hoping like after like get some more stuff going that we'll be able to just uh Get sprinklers, which will make this 
not necessary. All these pipes not necessary. Because right now, it's the only way I can really water all this shit is just to do... Do things this way. Okay. Friend of his over there just doing that in their mind. <laughs> like, look at all my crystals and they're just dancing. It's my head cannon at least. All right, I gotta, I gotta move the block over some more. Then we can start moving the rest of these. It's kind of like an awkward height to have to put stuff at without infrastructure. Sleepily raves. Yeah, perhaps I'll do one row at a time. It seems... Oh, this is gonna be annoying as shit, isn't it? Yeah, those count... That's not gonna only place those... <sighs> Motherfucker. Ugh. Why do I do this to myself? Actually, I have a, I have probably a better idea. Let me see if I can just get up here. Yeah, look. Let's see if I can like parkour my ass on like on top of the. Uh, we're gonna borrow some of these blocks real quick. Sorry, not sorry. I'm gonna do some like ridiculous parkour bullshit to try to get up here. Let's see. Up! Oh, I bonked my little noggin. Bonk. Well, I guess that makes sense. I was kinda. Underneath the pipe, you know. of this bridge that's just like in the world okay this is a way better way to do this I'm just gonna make sure the rotation is correct and then we'll just be able to kind of like back up just put them where need to go I'm not sure if I can fall between these, but I don't want to find out. Just buy more blocks. Eh, I already have these blocks, and I would have to be up here to put them in place anyway. <laughs> so, uh, so far, this seems to be the easiest way to move these that I have discovered in my short time being alive on this character. It's just... So far, this is working better than what I was trying to do. The placing system is also a little weird. You have to kind of like look at where you want it to go, kind of, but not really, but kind of. It's just, it's a little awkward. It's hard to explain other in, in, in any real way other than it's just kind of awkward to place things in this game. Especially in such cramped quarters like this. I probably should buy more blocks though. 
Yeah, I'm autistic, so that's not new. <laughs> I probably like completely missed whatever the point of whatever you're saying. <laughs> so I'm just like, oh, all right. Yeah, well, if I do it this way, it makes sense to me. Uh, but yeah, we're almost done now, so it's fine. Oh, well, that's, that's where one will go, but not that one. All right, and here's the last one. All right. Now we can just kind of put that there, I guess. Yeah, it, 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 a, lot, a lot about this game in particular is, like, if you can make it work and it works good, then who cares? Because, like, it's, a lot of it's just, like, pieces going, getting put together. Oh, yeah, I took that off as well. I was like, wait, why Why no water drip? Because as much as I hate it, I was expecting it. There we go. <laughs> All right. I was saying that we were going to plant more carrots and, like, tomatoes and stuff, so let's, let's, let's actually do that. Uh, the little machine can also plant stuff too, but for this, I just want to kind of get these in the ground and stuff. Oh, you mean like this drippy bit here? If you're talking about this one, it's because this T pipe just kind of is like that. It just kind of <laughs> just kind of drips off like that. I have that there, so if in case I want to want to do more, I can just add on another row of stuff instead of having to like have strictly. Yeah, the little pipe just drips off there. I could have a little elbow pipe to have that not happen, but it doesn't really matter to me necessarily right this second for that to happen. And go over there. Okay, so we planted 20 carrots. Let's plant as many tomatoes as I have. Well, let me see if <clears throat> we can go buy like a little corner pipe to not have that. I do have some money. Not much left, though. I need to probably sell some soup. Because you can just sell the soup for the normal money as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. The big pipe? Um, which, which one? This one? Or... <coughs> Excuse me. Is there a, I'm not sure which which oh at the store um, I'll go back to the store uh, this one is the an intake pipe so you can get water out of like the river or whatever we already have one of those in place actually we have two of them in place one for the watering system and then one for the conveyor belts that are having a little choppy thing Oh, the other one? You mean this one? Oh, this one. Okay, this one. If you put this in front of a machine that needs more... Like, basically, when when you put this in the system, any pipes after that, go back. their water pressure goes back up to the original intake value. It's mostly useful if you're doing, doing with, dealing with machines that actually care about water pressure, which some machines do, but us just dripping water onto plants doesn't really matter. But yeah, basically like a transformer, it kind of like it kind of like consolidates the water and restores the water pressure. Like if you have, let me see, if you have like these machines, they care about how much water pressure is going through them. Exactly. 
The only fucking NPC that says anything useful in this fucking game. <laughs> this guy actually kind of explains how these work, sort of. Yeah, there's, there's, this game's got a lot of depth to it, other than me just fucking growing plants and, like, <laughs> making soup. That's just, just only one facet of There's, like, I mean, I got this little crab from fishing. There's fishing. And now there's farming, and, yeah. Cool game. I'd say worth quite worth the money. Uh, well, oh, I was gonna put that in place. Uh, there's all my blocks. I was like, where'd all the blocks go? I just, what? What? Uh, <laughs> I just got, like, ambushed by that block. It's like, it's like, it's like, let's see how, see how you feel being placed. It's like, oh god, help! <laughs> I need an adult! <laughs> Oh, just maybe just a little closer. That's my that's my purse. I don't know you. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking king of the hill is great. Am I still not close enough? God damn it. I tried, but I'm gonna fail way more times if I if I try doing it too much more. Cause it's like, I just got to get a little closer. Oh, God damn it! Place the damn block where I want it to go, please. Thank you. Fuck. All right. Well, that drippy part that was bothering you is gone now. We didn't really have anything there anyway. Now it's nice and rounded. Okay, um, I know we had like one order. I think it was like a bunch of tomatoes that they wanted. Yeah, 22 cut tomatoes. Let's see how many we have left. 89? Okay, well, we are going to get the 22 off with this. That might actually be pretty close to what they want. Actually, just about right. So here you go. You can uh, you can uh, do that. You're gonna have a four-way. If we're talking about pipes, uh, unfortunately, at least not yet. There's not a four-way junction pipe. I think there's some mods that add it though, because this game already has a at least noticeable modding community. Which is cool. I like games that have like big modding communities of people just making cool shit. Cause there's like only so many things that the actual devs can really think of. And sometimes a modding community can just like make really new cool emergent content shit that you just never would have thought of otherwise. Oh that's cool. I didn't know if, I didn't know if, I didn't know uh, Five Nights at Freddy's even had modding stuff, <laughs> let alone like a community that does it. That's cool. Then again, I'm not really into Five Nights at Freddy's, so that's probably also why I didn't really know, because I'm just like, it's just not really on my radar. Uh, let's just kind of combine our tokens together. Oh! Oh, I guess you mean Friday Night Funking then. Same answer, I'm not really into that either, so. That. <laughs> there, yep, there you go. I. There's too many acronyms. <laughs> uh, let's just... How many of these tokens do I even have left? Mm, maybe sometime. I got way too much stuff to kind of keep me busy at the moment. Though, as always, unfortunately, there's just, like way too much stuff to play at any given time. And I only have so much time that I can do stuff unfortunately um now did i put that soup in the oh, excuse me voice crack uh yeah i put it in here that's fine thank you for your suggestion how much do we have left in these piles because i want to keep some tomatoes but we're going to turn the rest of these into seeds 
and per, per, per recommendation from one of the other my other uh, regular viewers, um, they wanted me to put the seed mill here in the river just because it'd be annoying. And I'm like, you know what? You're right. It would be annoying. So <laughs> let's. <laughs> God damn, how many seeds did I give me? I thought that was only 22, but I might have put a bigger chunk in there than I anticipated. I'm trying to count. Game, stop. 10, 20, 30. Oh, yeah, I most certainly put, like, a bigger chunk in there than I meant to. I guess. I don't know. Yeah, normally I would not have the seed mill there. <laughs> I would have it somewhere. It makes a little more sense. But they're like, hey, you should put that in the river because it'd be annoying. I'm like, you know what? You're you're right. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah, it's a little late, but we're going to plant these other tomatoes here. Fill up the rest of our plot so we can get just a bunch of more to bunch of more tomatoes. Pretty sure I filled that up. And we got like a w weird amount of tomatoes. It prob it, it it almost certainly is, but like, but if you don't if, like with, with these plants, like after a while, like they um dry out, and you'd have to manually water them, and I'm like, like not willing to do that. And if I have them wa always being watered like this, they're constantly growing while I'm doing other stuff too. So, and game wise, it makes perfect sense to do it this way. But IRL, yeah, these plants would be dead as fuck. <laughs> Like, no question about it. They would be extremely dead. But hey, when we get... Oh, actually, I could show off this now, I guess. Because this uh, thing is for automatically chopping veg vegetables. Yep, <laughs> those plants would be drowned as hell. Maybe I should move this uh, cutting setup. A little bit because it's kind of in an awkward spot if I'm gonna be like because if I drive my thing over this it's probably going to uh, not go very well let's just uh, say that so I might need to buy some more pipes to move this like vertical make this more vertical instead Like, we're gonna probably want it to go like there let's I mean we already own this part of part of the plot. I could grow f I could grow stuff over there, but it's just kind of awkward to get the farming machine over there, and I don't necessarily need the space. It's just a matter of getting this in a spot where I can use it without running over all the plants I'm trying to grow as well, which I guess planting stuff over there could fix that. But you'll, you'll see in a second once I get this all moved around why I want everything to kind of be in the same area, because this thing... Currently, it's full of beets that we harvested earlier, and we can offload the beets onto the conveyor belts to have them do stuff for us. Alright, that's the correct direction. Go over there. Like, the conveyor belt systems in this game are extremely satisfying to use.
Alright, so I'm gonna need, uh, like, another elbow from the store. Honestly, I'm surprised that that's all I need for, to get this kind of moved up a different way. It's just, another, just, like, one more pipe. And I could have more conveyor belts to make it easier to use. That might be something we invest in, but... Yeah. I don't... I don't really mind having to buy, like, one more pipe. Like, it's not the end of the world, because you can just keep your, your your money pile on here and then just kind of buy what you need. That's the main advantage of work, of doing stuff on this plot of land, is that, um... Is that it, the, the store is, like, right there. Let's see, I'm going to check my discords real quick. Just make sure I wasn't missing anything super important. The tomatoes don't take long to grow, usually, so this one might be... Sometimes plants don't really... Always, There's always a brain fart. <laughs> My brain is always farting. <laughs> My, br My brain's got IBS. <laughs> Irritable brain syndrome. <laughs> I can't... <laughs> Okay, yeah, this actually works pretty good. Cause I can uh like whip the whip whip the ride over this way. And we can kinda pull up here. And Oh nope, not quite close enough. I, I, I was I was watching the beats fly onto the ground. So we gotta get just a little closer. Back up. Oh, looks like we missed looks like we're a little too close, maybe. We grew we grew a lot of beets. <laughs> we planted like six like sixty of them to harvest probably around like forty six of them or so. So yeah, we, we got a lot of beets. Cause each beet plant can, can give you up to three beets itself. So it's just like huh? I mean, we missed a few, but we can just put them on. See how many beats we just uh, cut up. Uh, excuse me. Surely that's more than nine. Fuck. Am I? Am I? Am I high? What? I definitely like had a bunch more beats get cut up. What happened to them? Um, am I missing something here? There's... Hmm. They didn't get merged with this somehow, did they? Somehow those beats got merged with that because there's like 205 beats there. I think. I, I don't even know. I don't know what happened. That seems, uh like a bug maybe or maybe I the fuck huh well I I I mm, um, that doesn't really feel good I don't necessarily know where that big pile of beets that was being created went Did they get like forced out of the earth and like out of bounds or something? That's not ideal. Hmm. Oh, that's disappointing. 
I guess. I don't know. Well, heritable brain syndrome. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Uh, let me watch that back because I'm almost certain. My br my brain's got IBS. Irritable brain syndrome. <laughs> I can't. Yeah, this actually works pretty good. <laughs> nice. Thank you. Thank you for that. Thank you for that clip. Um, okay. Oh, wait. Um, oh, thank you. Thank you. Let me pull this back up so we can see shit. I see that. Thank you. Uh, where the fuck did all those beats go? I'm almost certain that we had more than, like, nine beats. And I'm almost certain we had, like, more than, like... Two, like 200 or so that's like not the only time I've done like just a massive like a grow of like just a bunch of beats I'm very confused there's not really unfortunately there's not really an not that I know of at least this game is like very minimalist with a lot of its inventories in general, why don't you just like pull this thing away? Maybe like the beats are like stuck under the tiller or something. Ooh. Hmm. Um. Nope. No beats here. Uh, that doesn't feel very good. Because I'm almost certain that we had way more beats than that. That we just harvested and all cut up. I don't understand what went wrong. But we're just kind of waiting for these tomatoes to do their thing. So we can just run over the whole field. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't happen because of like maybe like just the placement of this is just weird. I don't fucking know. Give it a few more seconds, and then whatever's grown is gonna be grown, and that's probably about all we can really hope for. All right, well, let's get our watering can, which, funny enough, acts more like a jerry can for fuel, fuel, filling up like vehicles than really a watering can, because it's not very good as a watering can. Not really very good as this either, but. Yeah, it's kind of awkward. Now I'm out of water. Now I'm out of water. N unfortunately, no, there's very, there's not really much more interaction you have with this vehicle other than it runs over things to harvest them. You can put seeds back here to um, auto plant seeds. And um, it moves <laughs> there's very there's not an awful lot of uh is that not where you fill the water at what i would assume that's where the water tank is for is for fuel or maybe i just well, I don't have any water to put in the damn thing now because I poured it all in there thinking that's where you fill it. Maybe you, do you like pour water in the top to fill it up? I, I haven't had to fill this thing up yet. This is uncharted territory. I would assume you fill it up there because that's where the water is. That's how all the other vehicles work. This is awkward. I'm starting to become a little less and less of a fan of this thing <laughs> as I use it, but it the the amount of time it saves when with harvesting stuff is just too good to pass up. Hmm. Maybe it's already full of water and I'm just being weird. I I don't know. 
If it was really low in water, this thing would probably be blinking, so maybe it's already full. Mm. I'm gonna stop messing with it and just use it to harvest stuff. thing drives like horribly <laughs> it's just getting stuck in all the little farming spots it might be because the terrain here is not exactly super level though i don't really know and i think i missed a few tomatoes plants all right well Did one of them just not fucking grow? I don't know why some of these just don't grow. I have a feeling it's because, like, maybe some weird dirt stuff is happening, and these things, like, sometimes the terraforming, like, recovers up the dirt. Maybe that kills the plot. I have no idea. This, this update's not exactly bug-free. But... That's still fine. But you used to, to get the seeds back if you like cut them oh cut them down with their stuff, so Could be worse. Now if you didn't get your seeds back, I would be really pissed off and I would like probably just like not play the update because or I'd be just doing normal hydroneer stuff. But yeah, that's all of our um Okay, yeah, now the uh, thing is blinking because it's low water, but how the fuck do we fill it? Do, can we not use the watering can to do that? Because the other vehicles you can, but maybe I have to use, specifically use, like, a pan. Hmm. I wonder if this is just, like, a known bug of just not being able to refill your, your thing. I might, have to I might have to turn to Google for some assistance if I can't get this to do what it's supposed to fucking do there's no potatoes how dare they not include an Irishman's favorite food <laughs> right okay you have to be at a really weird angle to get this thing to fucking accept water it looks like like a really weird angle at least now I know where you have to stand you have to stand like on like the little arm of this and then kind of aim Really? It only accepted part of the water, and then just is like, nah, I've had, I have enough, even though I'm definitely not full. Hmm. Yeah, this thing is, um... <laughs> Jesus. It's like accepting, like, one water of the four that this thing can provide. It's blinking, so I'm I'm liable to believe it's not full, but I, I don't fucking know. It shouldn't be blinking like that if it's if it's full, because that's like kind of like the fuel warning. The truck does that too. It's the only reason I'm saying that with such confidence, because the truck works in the exact same way. Like this indicator will blink yellow if it's like half full. With the truck, you can just kind of fill it on top here. It's really easy. Like that. <laughs> yeah, I'll try driving again. I mean, I gotta put stuff on the conveyor belt anyway. I think this thing is just buggy. Because now it's not blinking before I even got in. So, who knows. <laughs> This game is worked on by like like very few people, so it's a small team, so I can't really be too bothered. Like I understand that like game making games is not easy, <laughs> and I'm not gonna shit on them for there being bugs because there's like big AAA companies th that make games that have like more bugs.
Alright, let's see. Is that gonna be close enough? All right, I'm wa I'm watching these freaking vegetables very carefully. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so. I don't know if it, like, it was just a weird fluke last time, but we definitely got all of our carrots this time and all of our tomatoes. Well. Huh? 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 Yeah, I think the dev team for this is like three to five people, something like that. So. Mad respect for, for making such an entertaining game with such few people and such and all that, you know. Hopefully it's a known bug or something that is just, like, able to be fixed in the future. Alright, how much tomato did we get? 137 tomato, that's more like it. That's what I was, that's kind of more of what I was expecting from those beets. And maybe I did get that many and now I'm just like, I, I don't know what happened with the beets. I didn't have too many carrots, so me getting... Going from like 20 seeds to like 45 weight of carrots is pretty good. How much carrots do we have left? 34? Is that, I can't, it's hard to read whenever I, I have to move these blocks back over because the angle is hard for me to read what even, like what was I was even looking at. Yeah, it's one of those. I'll, I'll look again. <laughs> Cause I just happened to like kind of be standing in the block at that kind of rate, that kind of angle is just really awkward. Putting this place in this block is looks is really awkward. Place the damn block. Please, please. Come, come on. There, there it is. Okay. All right. Was it this one? I see forty-five there. Cause now we have that we have this back. I can just kind of hold it over it to see. Yeah, it's forty-five. Um. Uh, the, the top thing is how much value in like hydro coins the stuff is and the bottom is the weight And the zero is just like the scale is nothing on it Because that what that is, is this is a scale You can use like everything in hydroneer is 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 valued based off of weight It's just like a little scale here like like if I had like a, just like, uh, I don't know. Can I weigh this crab? Can I? Oh, I picked up the crab. We're gonna have to put him down in a better spot again. The crab even has weight. This crab is worth sixty-three hydro coins and it weighs two point eleven. Ah, I see. Hey, landed right up. There you go. We'll give you your jewels back. Crab, crab, crab crystals. <laughs> you know what these shards are like? Actually, is they're like they're they're used to power those um, your power those kind of components that need power, like your uh, that pressure chamber thing, the the thick the fat pipe you're asking about. The your shards are used to power those, and you can only get them by doing the digging stuff. Anywho, let's see. We're probably gonna just replant more. It's only more for like Jimmy the Crab's name is Jimmy. His name is Jimmy. Jimmy, the Jimmy Crab Crystals. 
How much do we have here? I might just plant a whole field of just carrots since they don't take that long to grow and I just want to have a good stock of them if in case I get any more get ambushed for more freaking I think that's uh, like 60 hmm actually I have a better idea how many was this thing? I think it was like 200 something again 214 okay I'm gonna split that in half and we're gonna turn this into like a big ass beetroot soup carrots we request carrots get in the fucking pot yeah you can you can uh, sell soup to the store I guess the main question is do I want to put anything else besides beetroot in here I think it might increase the value if I have other things as well what how many corn we have 66 we'll hold off on corn how much is this tomato 22 okay how much is this tomato 131 okay we can uh, probably split off like half of this thing of tomato which is this oh, 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 oh. 87 okay let's split off that we'll keep this for soup how much is this one 65 well you put this in the soup as well and then we'll turn these into seeds just I mean you can buy tomato seeds but hmm, I think I'd rather just like not do that hmm yeah, and as much fun as is having this in the river I'm gonna we're gonna move it I think <laughs> I need to go buy another pipe to facilitate that. Because as funny as this, having it sit in the river, that just makes it tedious to get seeds, which I know is the entire point, but I, I, I want to have nice things in my life. <laughs> I don't want my life to be a, a complete slog. One straight. Okay, so you. That, that, turn that, and then seed milk, and this is where I had it previously, <laughs> just because it, it made sense to have that there, because it just connects in, because, is that what you're, is that what you were, um, yeah, I think that's probably what you were saying. So that's how I previously had it, and then one of my uh, viewers was like, put it in the river. I was like, all right, sure. <laughs> but now I, I kind of want it, like, not in the river. Because now I can just drop it in like that. And yes, it's way easier. Okay, now I just have a bunch of uh, tomato seeds. For next time we want to grow a bunch of tomatoes, we need to put... Yeah, we have, to, we, have to, we have to put this back on the stove to let the tomatoes cook into the soup. Bam! <laughs> okay, how many carrots is this? 79 total. Hold on to that. And this is leftover beetroot. 107. Was I gonna, did I make carrot seeds or was I going to make carrot seeds? I think I was going to make carrot seeds. Is this neat carrots? No. The green, that is broccoli. I have like an extra bro broccoli seeds here, it looks like. We got onions, you got broccoli, you got tomatoes, you got corn, you got carrots, you got beetroots. I think that's the six plants you can grow. I don't believe they do, but I want to be surprised if there's some like mods that add more plants that you can buy. I really want to be surprised if there is. Uh, let's see. That soup is for a customer. This one is going to be for us to sell. Okay. Grab 
our car. We'll run up to the grocer that's up here. And drink a bit of my coffee that's been cooling off here. It's now cold, but that's fine. Okay, that's the tw that's the, t the tomato for someone that actually is, you know. Wait, where's the uh Is that the one simple that wasn't in the cart? <sighs> that would be cool, but I I think the way it's programmed is specifically to make one soup at a time. It's, oh, I'm sorry, the floating soup. My mistake. <laughs> Fuck's sakes. <laughs> Gravity defying soup. Yeah, this one soup. I, I have a feeling that adding more than one cut thing. Multiplies the value because I don't think this 107 beetroot soup would worth quite this much by itself because that's a lot That's a good amount of money for what we put into it With that we can buy some more stuff that we might need Because our, our cash stack was getting a little low so I wanted to kind of replenish it Our goal is to get a sprinkler because then we could have not as many pipes and it wouldn't be making noises and then we could probably have this pipe set up somewhere else for more plants or some of some kind yeah you can but getting the truck up and down this road is not always a very successful a <laughs> six four six four nice that that was pretty that was pretty aesthetically pleasing number to have come out of that yeah, again the truck up and down this road is um not always a successful venture. I've learned the hard way. So, th and this cart's pretty quick anyway, so I don't really mind using it to go up there or around town if I'm in Bridgeport. All right, so. So one of these jobs, one of those exclamation points in Bridgeport is the one that we have with us. And the others are new jobs that we can go grab. So we're gonna run our little cart over here to Burnscroft, which is one of the other little villages nearby. Hey there. Hey there. <laughs> I am not a robot. <laughs> Incorrect buzzer noise. Speaking of soup, it's soup time. Nice. What kind of ramen are you gonna have? So where the hell is this? Where the fuck is this soup person? Where the fuck? Where the fuck? Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> Fucking jump scared by the scran man here. Four tomatoes, sure, whatever. Chicken, nice. I I, I ate too much ramen. Like when I I, I used to work at like a grocery store. Like nights doing stocking and like just the combined stress of working there along with eating nothing but like ramen like ramen for lunch for like months. I, I can I, I kinda shudder when thinking about ramen. Like it's the it's not bad, but it's just I have like a bad connection with it in my brain, I guess you could say. Like just like the cheap kind of ramen, I guess. Like the in like the little bricks. Like I don't know I can hardly stand them anymore, unfortunately. Okay. <laughs> no, like, yeah, I feel that. Like, it's 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 in interesting, kind of weird how like stuff like that can just like change your your literal brain chemistry. It's like, hmm, my brain doesn't like this anymore. <laughs> All right, let's combine our money together. Uh, I, oh, I was gonna buy another conveyor belt or two, I believe, in Bridgeport when we go deliver the um, other quest thingy. What's this one? 20, okay, that's the one I have already done. You gotta go up here, it'll disappear on its own. Four tomatoes. 
Okay, I think we were gonna plant more carrots. So I mean to turn that carrot pile into seeds. Oh wait, how I missed I missed a few, it looks like. Or one. I somehow missed like one carrot. Did I miss anyone else? Oh yeah, that's also what I was gonna fucking buy is the roller machine because I'm tired of this happening. Well, in you go. <laughs> Short. Yeah, I'm just gonna turn all these carrots into uh, seeds. They'll take long to grow anyway. Probably, and I don't think you can put carrots in. No, you have to have a, cer a special uh, container to hold seeds, which is silly. Have a wider range to deposit. Yeah. All right. So we gotta get in this. We gotta lower the thing so we can access the fucking little guy here. Cause this is the little thing you can use to put your seeds in, and when you run over the spots, it will automatically plant the seeds. Well, we're growing stuff in bulk, and once we have a sprinkler or maybe even two, we can start just doing a lot more of these things. Cause this is workable but tedious to set up so once we get sprinklers it just makes things nicer to grow <clears throat> the nice thing is that whenever you cut all the vegetables up you can just take that big veggie pile and turn it all into seeds at once what I was previously doing before I knew you could do that is I was turning every single vegetable individually into seeds which is tedious for one and two, a waste of time. Unless you literally only have that many vegetables. Yeah, we got a bit of a we got a bit of, of a shopping list ahead of us. When we well, after we plant these, we need to buy um, the rolling machine, and we need to buy a basket because a basket will let us. Uh, there's like a certain basket you can buy with guild tokens that lets you hold seeds. Which would make this process of doing now a little less annoying. All right, for the for my this, for the sake of my sanity, let's uh, make sure all these are not covered up. I don't know if it's I don't know if, I don't know if it will affect the farm, like growth or whatever, but like. Like, as you see, this, 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 like, dirt has leveled itself back out again without my intervention and covered up these spots, which is a little annoying. I'm hoping using the roller machine will fix that, but if it's not, doesn't, then I might just have to, like, I don't know, roll it and then plant the, uh, spots. Not the end of the world. Just kind of annoying that I have to keep doing this over and over again. I have a feeling I know what's happening now that I'm really thinking about it. I have a feeling like the, the land is a certain height, but then I um, planted the things on there. And then when those change states, it reverts the land back to what it was, maybe? I don't, I don't know. I'm not really, it's not really an exact science. I'm just kind of guessing what might be happening. Because I don't fucking know, <laughs> really. But... No, it, yeah, that's kind of that's kind of how I feel trying to operate some of the stuff in this game. Sometimes it's just like it doesn't do exactly what you want it to do, or it's kind of being weird. You're just like, well, all right, cool. <laughs> all right, let's take the, the sickle and we'll put that up here with the other stuff with the shovel. Isn't folded. <laughs> yes. Alright. Alright, carrots. I 
I might need to like raise that up even more. Just cause like And we'll just kinda back into the if I could turn the right direction. Oh, we certainly got a lot less seeds than we had, so let's kind of check it out. Yeah, it looks like they did get planted. I'm going to add a valve. I'm going to go buy one. I'm going to add a valve to the um, to our little pipes here, because, yeah, how did, how did it be a lot easier just to turn the valve when I want to, the water to not be making the water noises? So I'll put that on and I'll grab my money and then we're probably going to go on a, a little adventure. Just want to make sure the, uh, make sure to, excuse you, what? Okay, now it's working, mate. As you can see, some of the fucking ground already covered itself up even after we planted shit, like, mm. yeah, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to buy that rolling machine and hopefully that helps resolve our our problems all right in the meantime though we're gonna have to let this kind of do its thing I guess Getting these things to combine together is sometimes a chore. Or an exercise in futility because it just sometimes just is like, nah, I don't feel like it. And you're just like, mm, I'm glad. What does that even mean? I'm not British enough for this. <laughs> Because this has been made aware to me from one of my pals, Digi. Oh god, I'm sorry. Yeah, Twitch is, uh... Very keen on throwing ads at people these days. Ugh. And the streamers just don't get jack diddly from it. I get, most streamers, I would imagine, do, um... Fuck, I'm sorry. Yeah, most streamers, I'd imagine, do, like, Patreon or whatever. But strictly because of that, because of all the ads and shit. Maybe I should consider doing things that, things that way instead. Although, I frankly don't really get much from Twitch anyway. Um... <laughs> Wait. Excuse me, you're supposed to get ran over. There you go. <laughs> I have to hit you at the right angle, I guess. Ah, go! Had <laughs> stopped at just the right time. Me playing soccer with these fucking mindless husks. Um. Vroom, uh, uh. Yeah, that dude was, dude was very intent on just fucking. I don't know. And this is the. I think this is the guy that wanted the. Are you a different guy that wants soup? I don't know. You kind of all look the same. Like, there's probably, like, several NPCs that look exactly like this dude. Just a white ginger man. Um... Yeah, we're gonna buy the uh, rolling machine, and we'll drive it back, and then we'll not forget my tokens on the ground. 
like a fool. I'll like lose them and never find them again and I'll start from scratch, which I mean that's not an awful lot of tokens, but it's still just like losing stuff like that in that way is just tedious. Like there's several times where I like have wished that we'd been it would your there was like a, a pouch that your money was and instead of having to like haul it around manually everywhere. Let's get another straight conveyor. Actually, we'll get two. So let's grab our our money. Yeah, this part of why I got the money is because these conveyors aren't super cheap. They're not super expensive, but they're not super cheap either. Move these in the back of the truck. Okay. Drive back, drive further down to the vehicle store. <laughs> yeah, it's like a lot of the Irish man is in the game and yet had no potatoes. <laughs> Lost your vote, yeah. <laughs> I see that. I'll, I'll see it. I'll see if I can load up more stuff in there. Check the look of my I mean, they've got this little, uh, little like kind of four wheeler, which doesn't carry much stuff, but it moves faster, I think, than anything else. And this is the rolling machine that I want to buy to maybe hopefully solve our fucking weird plant problems that are going on. Six eighty. It's not quite sixty nine. Honestly, you know what? I'll buy both of these. Who cares? <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I figure I might as well just buy both of them. I don't know if I'll use both of them. Yeah, we got to get this one back to the, back to the, back to home. It, it drives real awkwardly. It's like, so we're going to just take this back separately. Kind of have to. It's not like a, you can't like couple of vehicles together like cars on a train or something. Let's check my discords again. Embark because so, because one of my pals I was talking to yesterday was saying they might want to hop in and yeah, I'll have to walk back, but it's fine. I can take the shortcut through the river because one of my pals was saying that yesterday they were cons they were it'd be interested in being guest for today, but they they also was were streaming till like probably like one or two in the morning so I can't really blame him for not <laughs> wanting to be awake or alive right now yeah this thing's slow but I could probably actually run about fa as fast if not faster than this thing can move so it's not gonna be a bad deal getting back it could be worse IBS, huh? <laughs> yes, irritable brain syndrome. Sometimes the brain just don't work. Or it's irritable. Hence the name. Yeah, yeah, you okay, bud? It's kind of moving on its own. Has it gained sentience? Not quite. Brain. <laughs> that too. Ooh. Yeah, let's, um, let's see how I can get the, see if I can get this to work properly. I had mixed results. when I first tested this out in like a different file, so it's kind of like, hmm. The crops, eh, they're fine. It's fine. Maybe, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if it's fine. Croppant. 
<laughs> I don't know if this is even doing anything. Oh god, the camera. What is going on? <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus, where am I? Oh, no! <laughs> Oh, I see what's happening. We're like carving out like a huge swath. Oh, the, the the things are floating. Okay, that makes sense. The situation has become worse. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you could say that. Oh God, what have I done? I'm trying to. <laughs> Me totally not playing Terraria to 3 a.m. Sorry. Yeah, right. Uh, let's... It's those damn pipes up there. They're not high enough. I need to probably <laughs> make them a little higher. Well, rest assured, I believe the uh, the farming plots here are a little um, flat now. Maybe. <laughs> I don't fucking even know. The camera is trying to help. Uh, it's hard to tell what the, the actual culprit is, because it's just... Yeah. <laughs> uh, it probably is the plants making... Uh, well, previously I was actually had to start doing things the normal way when starting this file. So I had to do like the whole digging a hole down and like actually digging dirt. So part of that hole there is because that's the remnants of the hole that I had previously. And needs to say this, well, I mean, that's about as flat as I'm going to get, honestly. I'm not, we can't really get much flatter than this. Problem being now is I'm going to have to move that uh, stuff down. Because everything's just so flat in here. And this thing's going to like never be able to leave. <laughs> the freaking beware of crab. Ah, crab. Crab and, his, crab and his little shinies. He's just like having a good time. Just watching me destroy the world. Well, I might be able to actually ramp out of there using that thing, that this end. Let's see if I can get out of here with this vehicle. That means I can probably get out of there with the other vehicle as well, like the harvester or whatever. Can I cartoonishly run over someone with this thing? Oh, perfect. There's someone to test it out on. Jimmy is fine. <laughs> my that's my thought exactly when I get run over by a fucking like steamroller. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Oh this thing turns like a boat. Not a very good boat either. That guy, guy, guy performed a short hop. Yeah, he's really good at Smash Brothers. Allegedly. All right, we're gonna just leave this here for now. I've I've done enough damage as it is. Handles like a lead duck. <laughs> Did I not plant a crop there? Did it get destroyed? Who, who's to say, really? Oh wait, no, no, it's this one. Um, yeah, there's um a nice little hole there. We might need to move some things. <laughs> Moisturize, unbothered, in their lane. Yeah, that's kind of what... <laughs> Jesus Christ. I 
gotta take the, uh, the seeds out of here. Because I don't want to replant carrots again. Streamer, fall down the hole! <laughs> Oh, we, we've made a we've made a right mess of things. Honestly, once I get a sprinkler, I might just like go to a different dig because this place is very small and kind of hard to work with. This, this vehicle is having a having is struggling <laughs> to to get get through all of these little things. <laughs> oh no! Is it is it stuck? Oh. Uh, all right. Now the main main question is: Can we get up this? We can. Okay. So it's not the end of the world. It's just kind of awkward like everything else that happens in this game is just a little awkward ooh just barely fit through there um we're gonna have to um kill these holes anyway let me find a little trowel that's not a trowel there's a trowel fetch your mama from the eye doctor she's got the pupils all dilated can't drive like that alrighty well I'll, I'll be going till like 11 so we'll see if I see you, if I see you back, great. If not, I'll see you next time. No, <laughs> carrot fell in the hole. God damn it! Aha! Gotcha, you little bugger. It's fine. They're doing. They're doing just fine. Um, it's the glory hole. It's it's the glory hole. Yeah, exactly. Oh God damn it! I picked up the wrong thing. Now the carrot is in the hole. Can I crouch to get it? Yes. Got really long arms, apparently. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, we're gonna just get the uh, get this guy back down in here. After I remo after I move the block, I just go down the glory hole. <laughs> I mean, I can. It's not very exciting, but I can. I'm just gonna... Water dropping right in my eyeball. Ah! We can do one stuck and get out of it, so, yeah. Margle, 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 Margle. Surprisingly wet. This is unplayable. This is currently a little unplayable with these floating holes like this. Not gonna lie. Uh, <laughs> uh, can I scoop these carrots up too, or is it not gonna work that way? No, oh, it works. Okay, cool. So I can get, I can just run over the carrots once I get all these holes deleted, and they'll work just fine. I was afraid it wouldn't work that way, but thankfully it looks like it will.
<laughs> what I could do is use the shadow that these are. Nah, it's not gonna really be worth my time. Because it's not gonna be exact. No! <laughs> there they go! Right in the hole. Just as I didn't want them to do. Okay, well, let's, uh... I know there's another carrot in there somewhere. There you are. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of, that's probably what I'm gonna do. Is we might, uh, uh, we might shift all these down. Yeah, all while just getting sprinkle the just shitty waters like oh I'm getting waterboarded <laughs> yeah we can but I'm also gonna just keep flattening the area and see what happens Oh, I can use this little air, that little spot to get up. Yeah, I just want to see how flat I can get all this. Oh! Oh! Is there a man? <laughs> he was inside the vehicle! Falling and covered the dirt above you. Well, then I. I mean, I guess I could do that. I want to just see how flat I can get things first. With the the thing I spent like two grand on, become the plant. God, this camera just glitching out like every time I like do anything near it, near the pipes is funny to me. It's just really not intended. It's just having having trouble. <laughs> right. This might be about as flat as I can get it with the current situation, situation, situation. If you get too close to the river, can you obtain a personal lake? Um, unfortunately, the sides of the dig are unbreakable, so you can't really get the river into your little your dig site. Well, my options are, um, yeah, the side, the sides are unchangeable, unfortunately, for better or for worse. So, unfortunately, you can't make the river part of your, <laughs> your dig site. That would be pretty funny if you could. Yeah, it's a limited area, unfortunately. A lot you can do in that limited area, but still quite a limited area. Um... Yeah, my my options are gonna be. Um, well, I get the, I have to go get the other shit from the other place. I'm just like running over here, like not doing anything with what I'm supposed to. <laughs> it's a dark, dark hole. It's a dark, dark hole. <laughs> okay, so we can just kind of take this shortcut. Ah, oh, okay. I wasn't sure. <laughs> the dark, dark hole song. <laughs> Whee! Sure, I'm hungry. 
Sounds like a personal problem. <laughs> Oh yeah, we also bought this little guy. This thing gets up and goes, but can't really carry much. Oh, Jesus Christ! Turned a little sharp there. Woo! Woo! That's kind of fun, actually. See if I can just like get top speed and just like <laughs> about a sinkhole that opens up in the middle of a city and people start getting sick. Of... Oh, oh shit! It's dark but also pretty cool. Whee! I'm just gonna drive in the water. Whee! I didn't think I was going to make it through that little dealio there. Oh, there he goes. Dude's like, oh, come on, stop. <laughs> Just like... Well, I don't know if there's going to be much use with this thing, but it is cool. Does the water engine get flooded? Interesting, interesting thought experiment. I would assume no, because, like, it, it is, in fact, a highway. <laughs> Anything's a highway if you think hard enough or try hard enough, I guess. <laughs> All right, let's go back and... Uh... I can't remember how much South Hope costs to buy the rights to, because if we can just buy the rights to that, I might just... <laughs> River, water highway. I mean, yeah. Boat, water car. <laughs> okay. Because if I, can, if I can afford South Hope, I'll just buy the rights there and start moving stuff over there. Because it's a lot more, way more room than I'll ever use for anything. But, you know. It's also closer to this town. I want to say this is probably like six grand to buy. I can't remember though. Yep, six point six. So we don't have we shouldn't don't have quite enough, but I could get that if I really want to. It's a water car. Something I did want to do is come over here and buy. Oh, well, apparently buy eyes that can drive a car. Buoyancy Boyant, operated aquatic transport. There you go. That all makes sense now. Uh, Jesus Christ! There's so much garbage in here. Uh. Kumavaganda. Kumavaganda. Yeah, we want one of these, uh, these vegetable baskets so we can kind of, like, store seeds a little more uh, easily. Had a good amount. S five, sixty-two. It's close to sixty-nine. Five times five hundred and sixty-nine. Sorry, I'm married to my job. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, right, um, do I have any quests from anyone around here? There's sometimes someone here that wants soup. <laughs> they had to decide if they were gonna get hit. I mean, there's uh, this place that I like never use that we could probably flatten somewhere out and grow a bunch of stuff. The water is over there in the corner though, which is kind of annoying. 
How much does this place cost? We could afford it, though. You know, screw it. Whatever. You gotta get the fabled 42069 or 69420 Hydro tokens. Eventually, we can. Yeah, I think we're gonna move to this place. It's the, a lot more room, as you can see. Much, much more room. It's also pretty close to the towns and stuff. So yeah, we're gonna move house. Um, especially since I don't have anything, um, I don't have anything planted right now. I don't really mind just uprooting, <laughs> uprooting, so to speak. Oh, 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 oh. This thing drives kind of awkwardly. They, they like b between the this up this new farming update and the previous update before it, they changed. They seemingly changed how the vehicles drive. No. All right, we need to move. Uh, you out of the way. R wrong thing. You we need to move you out of the way. Hey, you said you wanted to see the back of this thing look like a fucking clown car? Well, it's about to look like a fucking clown car, I'll tell you that, because... Most, most of our stuff's getting loaded in the back of this thing. Yeah, it's gotta be a mess. <laughs> but it will, it will, it will function. It will hold everything, just about. Okay, we can, we can get out that way, it looks like probably need to move this guy some more all right good enough oh yeah and then we have to move all of our vehicles <laughs> boom excuse me separately all right let's get a little let's get a little a little a, a special limousine for for Jimmy here. <laughs> Jimmy and his crystals. <laughs> he just gets his own little pan. He's getting the executive suite. <laughs> okay. Let's actually use this basket for what it's made for, which is seeds now some things like that pan are uh, made for like I think this is a vegetables and seeds I can't vegetables and seeds all right which means I could probably store these in here too oh god we can we can take all of our chopped vegetables with us if they want to fit in the damn bass there we go Oh yeah, Jimmy. Jimmy already got his his own executive suite, and by that I mean a little pan. See, he's already in there. He's 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 coming along with us. <laughs> what that also means is all of this stuff and all of these are coming too. Like I don't have any reason to leave anything here, so I'm not going to. We got all our vegetables. Let's get all these seeds here. He'll 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 be the welcoming committee. Hi, welcome to Drek Quarry. <laughs> it's 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 had it's had a mind of its own there for a second. Yeah, so you can be like, you can just kind of sit there and watch. And at some point, I might come back here and set up like actual mining stuff just for something else to do, but uh -huh. otherwise, we're not gonna use this place for anything. In that case, I might keep the uh, keep this kind of stuff here, like this bucket and like the shovel. 
So we're not going to need that stuff at the other place. We're not doing mining there. Uh, we'll leave the pickaxe there, too. Don't really think we need the, uh, this other pan for something. We'll leave that here, too. In case we do need to do something here. This stuff's going with us as well. So is our jerry can. If I can, if I can climb over all the farm tools. Okay, let's start ripping up the pipes. That still probably would have technically counted as being in the thing. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Actually, I have a better idea what to do with these uh, pipes. Uh -huh. They're all going to go in the cart, which the cart can also go in the truck. <laughs> but the cart has the same properties where you can just, like, stack stuff as long as it fits. And even though it doesn't really fit, as long as it's kind of, like, touching the hitbox, it'll kind of work. I thought that touched the ground because of the sound it made, but no, that's just how it sounds. Okay, and let's move this closer to all this stuff. Uh, I don't know if we need these pans, but I'll put them in here anyway. Technically put that in there too. For now, I'll leave this here, because if we do come back here and set up, like, mining and a mining operation, just watching the absolute chaos of me just ripping everything up. We'll leave this here. As a matter of fact, where's that little... Oh, God, where's the little, um, cork? You know, it's fine. We're not going to be here to listen to this very much anyway, so. We're going to just start taking all these apart that I spent time putting together. Earlier, we're just gonna take it all down. Because we're gonna have a clown car inside of a clown car, because this cart's just holding all this stuff, and it will even after we, um,. It will even after we um, put it in the truck, too. Yeah, truck will be a nice quality of life just because there's so much more room to, you know, do stuff. Especially once we can get more um, crops going with sprinklers and stuff, we'll just be better off. Alright, so I'm going to have to roll the cart closer to the other spot. Yeah, it's what it, it's what it, pro what it probably would be if these uh, carts and trucks weren't just like magical pocket dimensions for stuff. There is an item called the pallet that you can buy in this game where it has a similar stacking property to this, but things take physical space. So you can have like a, just a big massive pile of stuff, but it's just kind of inconvenient because sometimes things fall off, so it just kind of defeats the, the point of it all. Especially when carts are just so useful and the trucks are so useful. Alright, we've got to move the cart a little bit. Now, eventually, if we get too much stuff piled in the same place, I think we can lag the game, but I don't know if we'll get to that point. We might, but I don't know if we will. 
Father, how are you doing that? Oh, oh you are making it look so easy. <laughs> it, it comes with experience. You just kind of drop it and it just kind of happens. Where's a carrot? A, a wayward carrot seed. Uh, oh, well, I guess it's in the truck. <laughs> Pipes, pipes, gotta get on the side of the cart to be high enough to reach these pipes, get, get back here. I think that technically counts as being in the cart even though it's kind of like, if it's sticking to the cart it probably counts, yeah it totally does, yeah, if it's sticking to the cart's hitbox, it counts, like we could probably do something ridiculous like. Try to get this like kind of a weird spot. That that will count. Yep, <laughs> it sure does. All right, let's scoot it a little closer. Jesus Christ. Get in there. Get in the massive pile with the rest of your brothers and sisters. It does, actually. That's pretty cool. It's just kind of... Just a big jumble of garbage. And we're going to have to manually empty this thing out, too, when we're done moving stuff over. <laughs> so it's, it's going to be an adventure. in the cart I'm no longer asking <laughs> hello ditto good morning to you become one with the pile we are currently moving house because I made a mess of my area here and I uncovered the sh the, glo the the shame hole that I covered up by flattening the earth so we're, mov we're moving to somewhere else we're, we're making this someone else's problem <laughs> So we're just taking all of our garbage and moving it elsewhere. Get get in the truck, you, you annoying rake. There you go. Don't let's not forget this stuff. Kind of hard to see. Damn it! I don't think I'm quite in the hit, the right position there. Okay, oh, forget our our, our stanky boot. Huh? It's it's very important. Okay, everything's technically in the cart there then. Let's. I'll leave this shit here. It doesn't really matter. Okay. Harvester will come with us. We'll take these two as well. Take get our our sickle. Don't forget our trowel. That's very important. We'll need to dig new watering places. I'm gonna keep this here in case we decide to come back and do mining stuff. Probably not, but. In, just in case. Alright. Oh, 
The game, the game is not super happy when I pick that up. Just, oh, you can see the very split second of it being like, oh no. Uh, I can actually kind of sense a little bit of a uh, resistance. Oh. Um, well, I think that's about everything not vehicle-wise. Oh, no, we have to we have to take the uh, stove and scale with this, too. Just throw it into the pile of garbage with everything else. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just pick them up. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Let's get these blocks in there too. Okay, uh, anything else that we're missing? Oh, there's this block. I guess I'll take that with us. And then we have to transport all of our vehicles that we have over there as well. That's fine though. Alright. Have that poor this, this poor back is just filled with stud. The game is noticeably doing something like it's the fr it's not the frame rate's not quite as smooth because of all this just stuff we have all in one place. Oh jeez. Uh, well, let's go this way. That's okay. Um. Basically how it is is in that one p part of the thread. Um, we could do um, either in one of the chat channels or can do um, just DM call and screen share that kind of stuff. It, it can it can be either impromptu or planned. I prefer planned just so that we can kind of like plan beforehand. So I can kind of prepare, I guess. Not that there's much preparation, really. No, this 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 truck is the frame rate is struggling a little with this uh, stuff in here. Oh, that's this is a different place. That's Mildew Aquifer. That's. Maybe that would have been a better choice to buy because it's already looks kind of flat anyway. Let's just roll up the roll up the hill and go to Drek Quarry, I guess, because that's the one we bought. Admittedly, it's closer to the farming town and to uh, Bridgeport, so it could be worse. All right, and now we gotta go back and get our other stuff. Let me see. Okay. Pull the chat back up. No, I don't I don't I have no qualms with just having you hop on right now, honestly. I I, d I don't care that much at all actually. <laughs> This whole stream has been a little chaotic, especially with me moving house, so it'd be fitting just to uh, be like, introducing Ditto Booty. <laughs> Not gonna, I, yeah, I don't, I don't mind. Now, if I was doing something like playing one of my other games I'm more I'm a little more serious about, like focusing on playing, then absolutely, but yeah. I would be a bit more cautious about like, okay, uh, let's kind of plan this and talk about this, but no, I'm just playing this fucking sandbox fucking digging farming game. I don't much mind or care. <laughs> Once I get back to the thing, I'll check Discord and we'll hop on there. 
I only got like 35 minutes left of stream, but that's fine. Doesn't really matter to me. It's just kind of, I just figured it'd be a fun thing to start having on my days where I'm a little less um, emotionally and mentally advanced. Okay, I think that's probably the one I would want anyhow. Let's see. There we go. Voice chat connected. <laughs> hmm. I don't hear you quite yet. You might have to, like, leave and jump, join back or something. Because, yeah, like, your little circle there is just constantly green. I'm not sure. Like, the mic's being weird. Yeah, I can hear you now. Okay, cool. What's up? Hi. Hello. I'm just doing this garbage. <laughs> uh, just yeah, just packing up everything I own in like the back of one really miserable truck. I also got this uh, little four wheeler that we bought earlier. It kind of zips around. It, it, it can flip on the on a dime too. Like we just. Oh, I was gonna see probably do a screen share too, just because it's a little, it's probably a little easier to um. With a little lag. Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, does it? Will it even let us do that in this kind of chat? I don't think uh. Like that. You have to be like... Oh no, it looks like it can. Yeah. Uh, oh, can. Okay. Yeah, I, I just wasn't. I don't really do this Discord stuff much like this usually, but. Is my audio even coming through on the this Twitch stream? Uh, give me a sec. I mean, I don't see why it wouldn't. Uh, go ahead and talk. Hello? Yeah, it did. It, it, the desktop audio shot up. So. Cool. So, yeah. Because I turned uh, down the volume on the stream, obviously, because I didn't want to, like... Yeah, uh, absolutely. Hear you, like, three times over. And yeah, play. that's, um... You're lovely <laughs> to listen to, but... <laughs> yeah, I totally understand. Yeah, if you if you drive fast enough, you just kind of turn really sharp. <laughs> you'll just fly. You'll just do a flip. I kind of want to do the show off because it's just kind of funny. Whoa! Oh, oh, almost. We almost got it. <laughs> I need to take this over anyway. So if we can manage to, I wonder if we can flip off the side of the bridge. Don't try this at home. Oh! <laughs> that was sick as fuck. Uh. Also, if you're screen sharing, I haven't gotten it yet, so. Huh. I. I believe I did the screen share. Let okay, me here see. He is. Oh, now there we go. Yeah, I, I just never really know because I very infrequently do this, have done this stuff in the past. So I don't I do really. I kind of stuff regularly with, like, uh, Juice, who I stream with, but that's about it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Makes sense. I, I just personally. It has, like, a new guest streamer option thing, but I have not played it. Yet. Oh, me either. I, I saw that. I was like, oh, that's cool. And then I'm just, no, just haven't done anything with it. Yeah. Oh, almost got the foot, whatever. Um, I got to go with the other vehicles, which is the, uh, ro the, ro the hydro roller, which is what made that mess back there. Cause like, oh, I need to flatten the ground because like some of my crops are just kind of like not really working how they're supposed to. And I suspect that it's yeah. part of the problem. But then I flattened, I guess, too much, and I uncovered one of the holes I had previously had dug in the ground. And I'm just like, well, now I don't feel like dealing with that, so I'm just gonna abandon ship. <laughs> guess I'll die. <laughs> yeah. Admittedly, that place is the, the the place you start at with like no, you, like you start there with like no money, no nothing. So that's like the beginner dirt place anyway. So there's just not a lot of room. If you're doing the stuff with the mining setup, you can get a lot of, you can pull like as much money as you really need out of it anyway, but mm, we're not doing that this time. I have another file for that and that setup is just, is broken because when they did the update with this farming stuff, they changed how one of the machines worked and it um, broke my entire setup. 
there's just like garbage everywhere now. And I'm like, I don't want to deal with that. So, we're not. <laughs> it's like, don't. Like, I have only so much control I could have in my life. I'm gonna choose this. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. <laughs> So tell me more about that game you were playing last night. I was only able to watch so much of it, but it was like I remember that's like cryptid dude like ate one of your eyeballs or something. Yeah. Um, so Inscription is a card game, but it's like a horror card game. Hmm. Um, basically, goal of the the thing is I think it's kind of like you know your basic card game. Like I think kind of like how Yu-Gi-Oh is, where you attack. You want to like the main goal is to reduce the um, the player's health. You know, mm -hmm. yeah, to zero. Um, except instead they use scales of teeth because, you know... Of course. Yeah. Um, yeah. Teeth. <laughs> so, um, but the, the actual main goal of the game is not actually to necessarily... I mean, obviously winning the card game is important, but, like, you're... Since it is a horror scenario, you're trying to get out of that cabin. Yeah. Um, and so... It's really interesting, though, because every time you, like, lose, like, if you die, instead of, like, like a normal, like, game where it's just, like... All right, restart from your last save or something. It's like your character dies and they're made into a card. Oh. You can actually manage to get like the next round when you play somebody new. Huh. Interesting. It is really interesting. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's like a lot of like puzzles in the room you try to solve and stuff like that um, to try to get out of there. Um, I batted it and it's not going very well because I keep dying. Oh, well, sometimes that's just how it goes. I wasn't sure how the like the actual stats on the cards actually did anything. It's all a bunch of like yeah, um, just so numbers. Yeah, like an attack stat, there's a health stat, um, and so obviously, uh, you know, how much damage they do, how much health they have. Um, then there's like special sigils at the bottom of certain cards that have certain effects, um, hmm. and I'm, I'm a little sigil boy, and I love getting cards with a bunch of sigils on them because it's my favorite thing um one of my favorite sigils is like the the like sacrifice one where it's like you can keep sacrificing that card as many times as you want for blood hmm. um, and you need blood to play the cards um, of course like yeah because you have to sacrifice the squirrels to get blood for your cards but like hmm. i love okay. the infinite sacrifice ones because i can just keep like hitting them up for some blood without them dying mm -mm -mm gift that keeps on giving <laughs> uh -huh. yeah and then there's like other little mechanics too like you can go to like a pelt trader and he'll give you like um pelts that you can sell to some other lady later for cards um and then there's like a wood carver that gives you like special like abilities like special sigils for like whatever carving you use it's a lot of neat little mechanics that all add up it, it sounds complicated and i'm sure if i got it if i kind of wrap my head around it it could be pretty fun as somebody who, like, so I've played a few card games, um, and I've been very confused at many a card game. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> as somebody who doesn't understand Yu-Gi-Oh very well, like, I can play, like, maybe two decks, and they're, like, the simplest type of decks, you know? Um, yeah. And I can't do any of those special summons, like, my friend's talking about, like, XZs and Synchro and stuff like that, and I'm like, I don't know, I know how to fusion summon, that's it. Um, <laughs> all reliable. You summon, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> old bullshit. Um, yeah. But like, I can understand this game. Like it's, and it, it's also like it doesn't. It's not too hard to understand too, because like even if you don't understand what a civil sigil does, like you can just like right click and it will tell you what it does. Oh okay. Yeah, that's so, good. It's not too bad. Um, there is like a puzzle in the the room that's like trying to make you figure out how many points or whatever on a thing i just brute forced my way through it i was like uh i can't do all that math in my head <laughs> oh feel that oh is it gonna let us take this little jo job oh I, have to, I think i have the little roller down oh. or maybe i'm just stuck okay let's use the unstuck command bless them for having that by the way because you can sometimes get some that. yeah exactly uh is the little roller thing in my oh well i thought i tried to stash the uh little um no it's just floating midair okay got it <laughs> that might have been what was causing me not be able to move actually the way the game is this game is set up kind of reminds me of raft yeah a little bit actually 
Raph's, Raph's pretty good too. I have that as well. Yeah, same. I think I I think they're done doing dev on it. Oh, <laughs> well, I guess this is staying here for now. Yeah, you can't take it. No, nah, if I if I would have remembered to put it on the little um, four by four, I would have been able to take it with me. But yeah, whatever. That w person wants like twenty two tomatoes or some shit anyway. All right, well let's get this. A lot of tomatoes. That's a lot of fucking. Uh, that's a thick. That's a thick broth right there, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's forever. Soup and soup and soup and soup and soup. <laughs> All right. Well, we're almost moved everything over now. It's fine. That's good. I'm happy about that. Do, do, do. Can somebody hop up, else hop into the Discord? Yeah, oh, okay. Oh, okay. No, that's fine. They're, pro they're probably just listening. No, that's fine. Just want to make sure it wasn't like somebody joining to like make a lot of like just noise or something like yeah, that like, be like, hey, what's like up? air horns <laughs> it's like that's that's great but i like that would be that would like overload my sensory shit and i would probably just like just destroy everything in, in anger <laughs> just uh, lash out horribly that's okay yeah that's fine okay so i'm gonna roll our ass over here no, the only source of water in this this quarry is in the corner here, which is fine. We'll just have our farm stuff kind of close to where this is. If we can, we'll see. Uh, we'll see what we can flatten. And we'll flatten that to kind of match, I guess. Hard to really tell what it's gonna let us do. I've, that's the only source of water in the on this dig yeah it looks like it's the only source of water in this dig that's why i usually don't really dig here's because eh, it's kind of bad but we're not digging here so i didn't really have as much of a problem and it's not looking like it's wanting to flatten properly i had this issue with <laughs> this vehicle um when i first was testing out the update it just wasn't flattening the earth properly. I was like, really? Like, uh, then what's the point? <laughs> and then, like, I did... I don't know if I did anything specific, but I just started working. I was like, okay, cool, whatever. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. What if you got to start at, like, the edges, and then it would work? It, like it might. Let me try that. Like, I don't, I'll, like... Or maybe I have to stop and then start flat rolling to have it do something. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, maybe it flattened a little bit there, or maybe that was already there. Hard to tell. I guess we'll be able to tell right about now. Hmm. Or maybe this considers this already flat or something, which it's most certainly not, but... Maybe we should start down here and maybe flat. Maybe it'll flatten based off of that. Doesn't look like it's doing that. Just kind of rolling over the hills. Hmm. A little underwhelming, I'll say. <laughs> just a little. I was hoping to be able to flatten out a nice spot and then just start planting stuff here again. I, I... It would have been nice if it would have worked. <laughs> yeah. Well, I do have an option we could try doing. We can run back and buy some like dynamite and blow a, make a hole and then see if we can get in the hole and then flatten like that the deed is done welcome back Nikki 
Uh, let's see. We got some money left. Oh, that seems like a good solution. We're gonna try explosives as the solution. I'm good. Get. Oh. <laughs> really? I solved the problems in my life, so. Just, ex just explosions. Just explosions. Jesus Christ. I'm just trying to get, trying to get it to. Does that make me a pyromaniac? You bet it does. You damn right. <laughs> Uh, where did my money even go? It's, it did roll downhill. Of course it did. Like, it's kind of fun at first when you're dealing with the money like this. Because, like, oh, that's kind of novel. But then, like, after, like, the tenth time you're trying to, like, place it money. To, to carry it around with you. It's... Okay, fine. There it goes. It should stick now. Yeah, it does. Let us go. Oh, Jesus, this thing's hard to drive. Go buy some TNT from the store and see if we can get that to. From what it was looking like from your stream, it looks like this thing runs out of the water quickly. Uh, yeah, I can see that now. Even less of a reason to use this thing. It's fast, but. It can't hold much, and fast doesn't really matter in this game, really, so. It's kind of fun to buy it, at least, but. Yeah. Now, if we had a little bit more money, we could buy a nuke, but we don't, so we're gonna have to buy just TNT. All life in the area just to make a hole. <laughs> yep. Really? I didn't play Fallout, but I think that was the plot. Yeah, I think that's yeah, that's what I just. <laughs> Those lights gonna be all sorts of colors, R, G, and B. God, they're so British. Why they're so? Why they have to be so British? Uh, we'll get like <laughs> British. Huh? 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 Oh, this thing nuts. Well, I guess that works. I don't know if it's gonna actually work, but. <laughs> Um, let's get one of these two. Oh wait, well I can. Those are wires. Yeah, this this game has like a kind of like form of like redstone in it, sort of. Yeah, it's pretty cool. You can do some cool stuff with it when you're not just like, um, doing what we're about to do. <laughs> um. Yeah, this this vehicle is not a very good vehicle. I'm trying just trying to buy like four things, and it's not even gonna let me probably do that. Well, I mean, it was only six hundred, so like, there's that. Yeah, it's just I'm not very uh. Oh, oh, oh god! I tried putting this on there to carry with me, but now it's just. You know what? Fine. I guess we're only buying like one of each. We'll buy both. We'll have to come back to get the other one because this vehicle is just the worst. We'll just bring the. Do we have a guess, or has the game suddenly become sentient? Um, we do have we do have some we do have two guests. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm part of the software. <laughs> Ditto booty here is part of the software now. You have merged. You have merged with the machine. <laughs> I gotta come back here anyway, so just blob in the machine. The <laughs> blorp, glorp, glorp. All right, <laughs> let's go. I mean, I like how fast this thing goes, but it's hard to control. It runs out of water fast, and it can't really get ready for gay in the machine. Gay in the machine. <laughs> Ghost in the shell, more like gay in the shell. <laughs> oh. <laughs> get, get got. Yeah, we'll just bring the truck next time. It's a little slower, but the water lasts a lot longer. It can actually hold things. Uh. 
I was gonna say, can you put the uh, trailer thing on there? Uh. Hmm. I, unfortunately, I don't think you can like hitch anything to this. I don't really see the little doohickey that you would use anyway if it was set up for that. But I mean, we got some TNT here. We can set it up and see if that's enough. It might not be, but we'll just kind of set one there. We'll go get our little switch. Here, wee crunch. <laughs> That's how I imagine it going, but your character's like immortal. <laughs> Must be nice. All right, I think we're trying to. Yeah, that way I can kind of stick it in the ground a little bit. If it'll let me. Sometimes it does, but the placement of stuff is a little picky in this game. Okay. Why? All right. Ah! I forgot that sound happened. Oh, God. My apologies. I forgot that the that you flash banged basically. <laughs> Fuck me. Oh. Yeah, it's like flash banged in real life. I guess we can see if that's enough to kind of let us flatten out. Samaria. But it might not be. I just want this to actually do something. So let's uh, gently get in the hole. Maybe. Okay, it's kind of doing something. Kind of. Ooh, you broke it. It's. Kind of working, kind of. It's still kind of, still janky as all hell, but hey, at least we're getting somewhere. have it's, it's just got a really big ball I guess I don't know it's it's got elephant titus oh, no. the strongest uh, shape the, the strongest shape <laughs> oh. so this kind of works you just kind of have to like lower the ground level I guess before it can flatten anything because I guess the game considers it already flattened even though it's definitely not imagine if you just left a tiny spike there just a tiny <laughs> little spike yeah it's like you're trying to drive around you just run into this thing over and over again Slowly but surely just lose your mind every time We'll just kind of flatten out as close to the water as it'll let us get <laughs> You built a very mature community be proud. <laughs> it's being slower because of how tall it is. Yeah, it's So if we raise this up and then kind of go up the side. What's what's playing in the background? What's that? What are you playing in the background? What am I playing in the background? Yeah. That's the game's music. Wait, really? Yeah, the game. This is just like the game's music. <laughs> it just sounds like a uh, dungeon crawler music. Hmm. Same kind of music that would be used in a dungeon crawler. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if you're, I'm not sure if you're talking about the Hydraneers music or if there's something else on uh, 
dittos and nothing on mine, so I don't oh. know. Hmm. Eh, well, I mean, yeah, this is just high junior's music. Life, I'm not doing five thousand things in the background. Yeah, feel that one. Hmm. No, I am doing some things in the background, just not involving noise. Gotcha. Yeah, just doodling. Sweet. Well, that might be about as close as we're really going to get to the water without us, like, buying explosives and blasting the dirt out. Um, explosives are always an answer. Uh, they are an answer. They are the answer, in my opinion. <laughs> they, are, they are the answer. <laughs> so we'll just kind of flatten out a bit more space. I guess an advantage of having our stuff lower down than where the water is is that we can have the pipes up higher to where they don't hopefully clip with the camera when we're trying to do stuff with them. Because <laughs> that was painful to interact with. Can you try to staircase it up so that like, if you need to adjust it even higher that you can get up there? That would probably be a smart plan. We'd have to buy some more pipes though. Which we can make a separate run for. Because unfortunately in um, Bridgeport, the only pipes they sell are the tier 2 pipes, which we do not need. They're also expensive, so we'd have to go make a separate trip back to the other store just to buy pipes. Which, eh, not a bad idea. We'd probably just have to figure out how many we need and go from there. See, if you wiggle, if you wiggle the... The flattening end here, you can kind of keep going a little bit. Kind of. But it's still very slow. It's, it's extremely slow, yeah. It's, so we'll just have like this weird like cliff. The cavern of wonders. The, the, ca the cave of wonders, yeah. <laughs> it's probably way more than enough room anyway. So now we're just gonna make a mess. <laughs> See where it'll let me go. Ah, come on. At some point I'm gonna run into the edge of the lot. <laughs> I should be able to just roll up and out of here. <clears throat> it's the Corv of Wonders. <laughs> the Corv of Wonders. Come on. Okay, that's probably about as far as it's gonna let me go. I raise the thingy and we'll just kind of. I guess dig our way back. I'm glad as, I'm glad we were able to figure out how to actually get this to flat like it's supposed to because just driving over and over around the obviously not flat terrain and have it just not do anything just was a little annoying to say the least okay you're done for now okay. I'll never get another job in this town again <laughs> <laughs> you're finished <laughs> all right don't need you down there right now it's Oh crap! Well, it's out of the it's out of the the cart, so, so we have to put it back in the cart. Oh, the the gentle amount of lag whenever I pick up this cart is just a just a little. <laughs> There's so much That's garbage. Yeah. Just a little. Just a little. Just a little. <laughs> Uh, to be a lot slower, but don't show it. Yeah, like the game runs a little slower, but the computer is fine. It's just the game's not as optimized as it probably could be. I would imagine. Hmm. Contemplate on if we should even start doing too much more because I got like six minutes left I can stream for. So uh, we can at least get some of the water stuff in, I guess. But to be honest, you have a lot of pipes right there. 
Yeah, we, we sure do. <laughs> The only bad thing about this fast cart is that it turns really slowly. But other than that, it's fine. Okay, well, let's start offloading some pipes, I guess. Yeah, we have a, we have a bare minimum 60, like 60 or 70 pipes in here, because the, um, that whole watering system I had had like 60 uh, spots. A lot of just a lot of pipes. Now you can have over a hundred spots. On oh, I could have way more than that, but I I don't really want to do I don't want to do that because well, at least not yet. Once you have the sprinklers, they like you hook a sprinkle onto a pipe and then it like based on the water pressure it does stuff in a certain radius, so you don't have, to have like specifically every single pipe known to man just plugged in there. We'll just kind of huh? put that there, sure, whatever. <laughs> oh, if I want to collect all the pipes, let me collect them all. I mean, you can. That's like your life's mission. You can just buy tons and like tons pipes. of pipes. Just the pipe master. Sounds like a freaking exercise machine. The pipe master 3000. I don't know. <laughs> I wonder if there's an achievement if you buy a thousand pipes. <laughs> I really hope not, because that sounds awful. Although I'd have a mod installed that lets you, like, kind of buy bulk stuff, so maybe it wouldn't be as bad, but Jesus. Yeah. Because normally you can only buy things one at, like, you can buy multiple things at a time, but, like, you can't, like, buy things in, like, massive bulk. And the only reason I even have all these pipes is that I bought them, like, one at a time like I bought them in like clusters as I was like expanding the farm so it was just got a, just got a lot of these there's a straight let's put that over there where it belongs separated from all these little guys just so I don't get mixed up I guess collecting all the pipes would just be a silly little pipe dream it would be <laughs> maybe not even that little of a pipe dream of course you'd have to make that joke. <laughs> <laughs> it was there, I had to take it. Yeah. You do what you, you do what you can. You gotta do what you gotta do. I, I'm yep. proud of it. <laughs> Just that I took it. <laughs> <laughs> See that you can't place the pipes underground. You kind of can, but placing stuff like underground is iffy in this game, so you kinda have it's Limited success. Like, just the placement of the system's weird. Like, you place in this, I'm kind of looking at this block, but if like, you kind of move, it goes down, and it's, it's kind of awkward to place stuff. Yeah, I think we're probably going to empty this cart of pipes, hopefully, and then that's probably where I'm going to have to call it, because we've got, like, two minutes. And then i got to do lunch stuff myself. Yep. And then after lunch stuff, I'll be heading to work for like, like nine hours. <laughs> well, at least one of those hours is gonna be overtime, so it's not as bad, but still. <laughs> There's another little Elba. I'm trying to sort these out while we're taking these out of the cart, otherwise it's going to be a mess trying to find what I need just in the pile. Huh? I almost put that in the wrong place. Right as I was saying, oh, I'm going to be very careful about organizing these. Just mindlessly throw it in the wrong spot. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever had a pile of pipes this, this big over here. It's just, there's a, there's a few of them. Yep. <laughs> I'm gonna start a conversation. If you had to pick out of which flavor of ramen 
Which would be your favorite? Um, historically, I'd probably would say like beef flavor. That's one I ate a lot when I could stomach just the kind of like brick ramen. Like uh -huh. the, I was explaining, like I can't really handle eating that very often anymore because of how much I ate at the one job I worked. I'm gluten intolerant now, and it makes me very sad. Um, but when I ate ramen, I was a sucker for the roast beef, like specifically the roast beef one. Ooh. Yeah. Sweet. I can say this. Uh, I like the chili one. That one's pretty good. But the one that topped my list is the picante chicken one. Hmm. That sounds pretty good. I don't know if you sell that flavor around here. Yeah, that's you also don't? the thing. Is like some places just have different like availabilities of different kinds of ramen based on like I guess the demand or the community that they're near or something. It's odd. Did you know that? Did you know that they're selling the uh, the shrimp flavor now in the uh, twelve packs? Oh, that's cool. I don't know if I've ever tried the shrimp flavor ramen. It's not bad, but it's not good at the same time. Yeah, that's fair. It's, it's like, well, this is certainly shrimp flavored ramen. It's just ramen. It's not my favorite. It's not my least like. Can't go wrong. Can't go too wrong with that. I think we're almost at the end of the fucking pipe disaster here. Jeez. So many pipes. One of these is gonna have to be the intake, because I, I did pick that up. <laughs> and you kind of need that to. Truck. Is it? Well, I guess we'll see. I'll, we'll see at the when I get to the end of these. I just don't remember putting it in the truck. Oh, that's not where you belong. Ah. Oh yeah, it doesn't look like it's in here after all. So yeah, you're, you're probably right. It probably is in the truck somewhere. I just don't remember <laughs> putting it in there. It was everything was kind of a blur. I was just kind of picking things up and throwing them everywhere. As fast as you possible. Were excited you, got, you were excited you got yourself huh? in this place. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, we got, we're not going to be in here, this place anymore. Finally free. What is that thing, that magnet on a stick? Um, you can use it to drag resources around. So if you need to like, kind of sort stuff, it can help with that. It, it can be useful, but sometimes it can cause problems because everything that drags gets collision. So if you drag too many things, it can like... Drop the frame rate tremendously. Which on one hand is can be really funny. Yeah, he Jimmy is in the Jimmy's in the car. In his own little special pan. Yeah, we're gonna have to I'm gonna have to finish emptying this cart of everything. Well, the, the cork's the last thing we're gonna have to take out. Cause the uh, soup bowls are kinda just sticking around. There's that uh, plug you were talking about. That's true. I just gonna. Oh, we have the 22 uh, tomatoes for some dude already made. I just forgot I get made it, I guess. So yeah, next stream I'll have to start putting this stuff together. Let's go. So they really don't have a, a cross junction yet. No, uh, I think there's some mods on like the Steam Workshop that have cross junctions. If that's something that's needed. But generally, you can kind of get by with that. Okay, here's here's Jimmy and all of his treasures. Uh, let's right see. Right by the entrance. Yeah. Right by the sign. That's, that's a good spot. <laughs> it's just like, ah! No, the thing is, Jimmy. Jimmy, Jimmy by default is not right side up, so you kind of have to, like, eh! There you go. <laughs> give him his treasures. Completely, completely silly. Like this crab is just—he's he, he's he's Jimmy the special boy. Yeah. He's Jeez. showering in his gyms, making it rain. <laughs> and that one's just like perfectly. Uh, that one's just perfectly upright. That's <laughs> unlike. That's unlikely. 
There's like a store around here, like I kid you not, like uh I think it's like a whole franchise called Jim's Gems. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> the pot thickens. <laughs> Is it run by crab people? <laughs> Is this run by the crab people? Yeah, my it's like it's like you've never seen you've never seen them and crab people in the same place. Mm, that's true. <laughs> At the same time. You're right. Uh. All right, so, well, that's all I'm gonna really get into because I gotta get off and do um, lunch stuff here. So we're gonna stop our stream, the stream here for now. Thankfully, everything is just like really easy to just save and do in this game. <clears throat> well, it's been fun hanging out. Yeah, that's why yeah, I wanted to start. Yeah, that's why I wanted to start just doing this kind of stuff. We're just kind of... Like, this game is very unserious, so it's just kind of a nice excuse to kind of just hang out with folks. And generally, the best way to kind of just set that up is just... In the guest thing, you have a certain part of the Discord that is just like kind of like stream guest discussion. Like, oh, hey, I want to kind of... I want to hang out, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, okay, cool, we can just... It's not like a scheduling, like, you have to be there. It's a kind of like, so I know who to expect when, you know, that kind of stuff. The but. first half, uh, like, Brenton just Twitch chat, and then uh, second half just spend in the Discord. Yeah, just fair enough. Yeah. That's, that's perfectly fine. Yeah. All right, so that is where the stream is going to end for today. My next stream is going to be on Saturday, time permitting, and that's usually the day when I do, like, the three streams. And, yeah, that's the next stream. But that's going to be the stream for today. Thank you, everyone, for coming by. Thank you all for being on as guests. Thank you, Ditto Booty, and thank you, uh, I feel bad, but I have to look at your name. I <laughs> Marie Kusa. I'm sorry. <laughs> A little, just a little different than what I'm used to seeing. But yeah, thank y'all for being being guests and just hanging out with me. I appreciate that a lot. Let's... It, it's, a, it's a tiny change. Because, uh, well, you know how Twitch can't... Twitch doesn't allow the uh, lines over things and whatnot. Yeah. So. Yeah, makes sense. Uh, let's see. Let me see if I can raid someone real fast. And then we will hop off here. And I'll do my normal preparation stuff for the day let's see uh well, there's two options here there's digi dragon seven i rate i usually rate him during the weekdays because yeah he's just a cool dude um but we also have my pal twitchy charlie here they're playing fallout new vegas which might be interesting to watch so i think we're gonna raid into them today because the last few days I raided oh, Digi. I made a fallout joke, and here we are. Oh, it's come full circle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to end my stream, and I'll be raiding into Twitchy Charlie. Say hi when you get there for me, folks. If not, well, I'll see you next time. Have a great day.